people always ask me to do an absolute beginner uh, tutorial and I don't really uh, like this because they all haven't really had the happiness to go to our githubs and take a look at this wonderful picture how to connect it and so these overboards all are a bit different and you see of course first thing you want to do is to well to these three cables the ground and the two programming cable here for the dongle and you see that's the first thing I have to warn um, most boards here it's a second pin uh, is, is, is a ground but I also have a board uh, here uh, and there the, the ground is the first pin and so uh, you should check if really um, the ground pin is the second or the first and so here uh, to a shortcut you can hear ground is quite easy here uh, by the capacitor and, and then here you can uh, you see then okay second really is ground uh, so at the first thing you have to do and then well yeah you can plug this here uh, into the computer you should shortcut it uh, here As some over uh, controllers really if they you see if they I don't it you, and I power it on still the, the board comes to life that's because here the first uh, Darlington transistor uh, on this board already has, uh, has a shortcut and so that's here the, this uh, tip 127 and here the, the first is base and the sec two and three is a collector emitter and here is a shortcut so battery off and again so if you wonder why your hoverboard really already starts when you plug in the battery then you can check this uh, transistor here uh, and you see so uh, this is the middle and the, the right and here you see and therefore I mostly no longer need this here but I still will do it as it should be so um, plug in here and then battery power and then first thing you should always do uh, target program and verify uh, no device why does it happen try again uh, then unplug and plug in oh yeah here that wasn't really in the USB port uh, browse find the binary and the first thing you should always is a uh, Nicholas most basic and multimeter wants to shut down and the test mode and start and yeah that's it and then well yeah off you see that's that's what I said and sorry battery on battery off and then you can see uh, this test mode and then you already know okay motors are working and so and next is the ADC and before I go on this no let's uh, go for the serial you see and really a big big warning <laughs> you see because with this board red and, and black so plus 15 and g and g is is is, is the wrong way so i want to show you again you can do it with a shortcut uh, uh, where are we so if i now here uh, so you can see it I go to the, the red cable and then here to ground and you see I have a shortcut and if I go to ground then I have to find the 15 volt here and the 15 volt is the input of the second voltage regulator you will learn more about this voltage regulator in, in the repair video coming up so here the input of uh, this 5 volt regulator or 
um, this uh, second uh, Darling transistor, the middle pin, that's the output uh, of. Uh, well, what? Yeah, no. You see. And you see, this is really, uh, this could easily just destroy everything. So, yeah, you check, check if really the red is plus. Um, and so you see, now I will connect it. And here I go to the volt, voltage. So, and why is the board not spinning? That's because here I did shortcut, uh, already bridged it. So, here you see now, as it should be red uh, to, to plus and minus, and then you, uh, but yeah. Here the multimeter you see minus 14 volt and it's if, if I do it the wrong way then I have the plus 14 volt and so really do do check this because if you don't then but and so you see here there's a the ground that going here to the ground is, is really um, the red cable and you only need RXT TX um, there are another thing to notice here yeah, that's uh, just uh, uh, another USB uh, and if here the, the RX pin that's a pull up open and the pull up is done by this uh, dongle so here it's, it's ground to pull up and it, it's 4.9 volt even so here this jumper uh, switch to 3 volt, 3.3 volt, still the RX uh, pull up open and this uh, 5 volt. It's okay, as I have learned, if you use uh, the short uh, cable here, as uh, a short serial cable, that's um, because this is 5 volt tolerant. And that's a use UR3 and so the usually uh, you, you connect the uh, serial uh, dongle to the UR3 and so it's doesn't it's not that problem if you have a, a, a USB dongle that's uh, outputting 5 volt this one really is outputting 3.3 volt and so uh, yeah you plug it in and here yeah, let's uh, let's let the motor run spinning and then we can open the terminal and this time it's the COM9 and the Niklas uh, is using a 115,200 the Emanuel is 38,400 so okay and then you have here first is the RDC inputs uh, which we don't use right now and the 3 and 4 that's the speed so here you see the changes that's also something you should if you really want to build something, uh, get yourself a USB dongle and, and, and try to get this output, debug output, because that's, whoa, can I show you? Here uh, in, in the firmware, set scope channel here. So we really, um, you can, but if you want to change something and debug something, you only have to change the set scope channel and, and then you have your debugging readout. Uh, so where was I? Was I? That's now for the ADC input. Yeah, now again, program mode. Um, insert the dongle. And yeah, quickly let's go <laughs> and program the ADC. Uh, so again, uh, what's not? Uh, it's always the same. Target program verify, and now we have to connect it. Battery. Target program. Browse. And here I will already show you, I call it joystick, because it, it, 
don't really know the uh, speed and steer. I only use speed, so it's quite easy. And the steer was set to zero, and and um, all. But the default settings for steer don't really work. And so here, this is this joystick mode, and I will show you what what changes I made um, because that's here already. Um, this yeah, the speed right and speed left here down. Uh, that's uh, the speed with a coefficient, so to limit it, uh, and then either minus steer and plus steer. So obviously the steer has to, if you want to go left, it has to be negative, for example, and if you want to go, it has to be positive. So that these two speeds, uh, they <laughs> go in different directions. Uh, but if when you look at the control ADC, then you see that here this command one is going to be the steer. And it's limited, uh, clamped to from zero to the ADC one max, then normalized uh, to one, and then multiplied with uh, flow one thousand. So it's a value from going from zero to thousand, and not minus five hundred to plus five hundred or minus thousand to plus plus one thousand. Don't really know <laughs> why they did this, and therefore where is my compiler? I did so come here. You see, you have access to the main.c, and there, uh, where is it? I added here simply uh, minus 500 uh, for the steer. So the 0 to 1000 goes to minus 500 to plus 500. And I also did it for the, st for the speed. Uh, so we can now go backward and forward. And that's because you see these uh, cheap uh, joysticks here. Uh, that's um, two potentiometers, uh, and so the, it's, it's a middle position, yeah. And so I think that's a very easy thing to do, and that's why I added here for both speed and steer this minus five hundred. I did compile it, and and it, well, you get some error messages, but that's only some warnings. And so he, I always use binary, and so back and. Start. Yes. Uh, you see, so now we should now have um, this uh, joystick mode. And here I, I made a, a, another uh, control panel. You see, I only later. Uh, took notice of this so then I would have taken this one but and here I I take the 15 volt uh, I take the 15 volt and, and simply the 3.3 uh, volt regulators uh, this is a bit uh, risky because uh, these are only rated uh, to uh, to here to 15 volt and this, as I've shown you, we have 14 volt, but it's okay. And then you see simply two potentiometers. And that's the easiest thing because then you can take this long cable. You, again, you see, you have to check that um, you see here, it's, it's, the red is going to black and the, and the black is going to red because this uh, nasty board has, has, has swapped this. And so now, uh, can we hear? Uh, I think the left one is a steer, uh, but first let's go with for the speed. Uh. And you see, I can go backwards, and and, and the middle here is f now it's 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 quite you see doesn't really happen a lot if you have it more or less in the center. And, and if I now go backwards, and well, it's going backwards. And, and so let's go a bit forward. Or no, let's make neutral and, and steer. And you see then, now they're turn, turning both in the same direction and here now they are both in the opposite direction. You see in a wheelchair, they are mounted opposite. So um, right now, you see you would turn left and and now you would uh, turn right in your wheelchair and and you see this also works if you're going forward a bit you see then you can also now I'm go turning right and then you see one motor really stopping and the one going faster and if I now turn left then the other one 
stops and the other turns, turns faster. Uh, now again in the center and here now it stopped and this would be exactly uh, this uh, nice cheap uh, you see it has here ground uh, can you see it ground the, the plus 5 volt should again be the 3.3 volt regulator you can also take the 3.3 volt from here but you see then if some um, something breaks if you disconnect and and you take the 3.3 from somewhere else then this connector and therefore i think it's the best really to you have this one cable and so better make the 3.3 volt yourself here and so 3.3 volt going here and then you have these power rx power y and yeah, you would could uh, control a uh, uh, wheelchair with, uh, with this. Uh, I've now only showed you the uh, the Niklas firmware. I really I encourage everyone uh, to, to go for the Emanuel Ferro. This FOC is really incredible, uh, far better. But he has some other, um, it's not this minus 500. Or, uh, Again, but the code is a bit different so I want to show you this but I wanted to show you here we see these two portraits a meter the cable really take care for for plus and minus um, this three at the first time I get this got this pop-up uh, read out protection do you want to disable it and uh, took a long time did work but afterwards I could so I did not have ever have had really a case where some some right protection was on these boards and you see this one, I, I, I successfully um, programmed it, it has this GD uh, clone. So I've by now, I think already two of the G, GD clones, um, GD32 um, that work with, with no problem or the STM. And yeah, you see now all these other cables are really very straightforward. You see if, if uh, the motors uh, is, uh, really go fast and stop then uh, these uh, phases uh, you simply switch uh, these phases all three combinations until you get the right one because some boards uh, don't have this color the same color code here and yeah you see that there isn't really any more and if, if something doesn't work then uh, if, you, if you hear this uh, blue pill uh, this uh, programming works then get yourself a blue pill and try to program a blue pill because this is has also this SDM32 F103 uh, and but yeah and if nothing works then watch my second video today uh, that goes into repairing the silverboard uh, so yeah bye bye